Hi, this is a short video on the Transworld Systems Insurance Collection Program. Healthcare administrative costs accounted for nearly 27% of the total revenue for a physician group and 21% for a hospital. If you look at the breakdown, 13.9% of that 26, almost 27% for physicians groups is on insurance and billing. And for a major hospital, of the 20.9% of that administrative cost, 8.7% of that is for billing and insurance related cost. And when you look at the average cost to rework a claim, a denied claim being $25, and the manual claim status checking that takes 5 to 12 minutes on average and costs $9.79 per inquiry, the internal cost is a big issue. So how do we reduce that percentage? How do we reduce the overall cost of total administration as well as the billing and insurance related costs? Well, Transworld has the answer. In today's times, hold time is costing practices a ton of money. If you look at just two full-time employees that are making $15 an hour, being put on hold just three calls per day at 20 minutes per call to follow up on just three claims because they usually only allow you to do a certain amount per call. And if they work a 50 uh, week per year uh, schedule, it's costing that uh, provider $7,500 a year of hold time for their staff to be put on hold. And we can't tell you how many times we call a prospect or a client and try to talk to an administrator and we're told that they're on the phone with an insurance company payer office. So um, this is a big problem and we have the solution. So let's look at the solution that Transworld has and why it works so well. The funnel here shows the patient coming in for an office visit, the CMS form obviously being sent out to the payer office, and then usually in-house phone calls within you know, 30 to 60 days, depending on the state law. Most states are 30 to 45 days that the claim, a clean claim should be paid or denied. So somewhere between 30 and 45 days or you know, 30 and 60, uh, maybe you're making phone calls and following up off these claims, or maybe you just don't have the time and the staff and the, and the ability and the bandwidth to be able to do that. So you're just crossing your fingers and that's even worse. So what Transworld has somewhere between 60 and 120 days old on a clean claim is a process that gets amazing results. And that, in other words, it's allowing you to chop down a tree with a chainsaw instead of an ax. So instead of your staff being put on hold, being aggravated and wasting all that money when they could be doing something that's much more efficient, they're going to be receiving phone calls and payments from the insurance payer office instead of being put on hold. These five collection demands that are being paid and specifically designed for past due insurance claims go out in a 21-14 day cycle. What that means is the first demand goes out to that payer office and then 21 days later, number two goes out, 14 days later, number three, 14 days later, number four, and 14 days later, number five. Now, there's three major reasons why this program works versus a phone call from a provider. Number one, the implied threat of what this can do with their status with the state insurance commissioner. Insurance companies are licensed and approved for licensing based on two stats. One, complaint rate, and two, how fast they pay a claim. So the implied threat of what an agency could do to that status really gets the action moving on a claim. Number two, the clerks that are on the processing floor that are handling all the CMS forms are not authorized to deal with a third party or a law firm. So that claim gets walked down the hallway to the supervisor who can pay or deny a claim. And three, there's an FDCPA disclaimer on the bottom of the first demand for payment that puts them on notice that based on federal law, if this claim is not paid or denied within 30 days, it's a valid debt by federal law. So that often moves action towards getting a claim paid, denied, resolved, something being done on the claim and, and getting money in the door to the practice. So let's look at results of what this program does. This is a small oral surgeon that submitted $28,595 worth of claims. And the system that we just showed you recovered $24,000 for this uh, clinic. 
based on the $12 fee per account, it, the cost was 1.2%. That's amazing. These were claims that averaged 98 days, right? So obviously they're not the youngest uh, claims and that allows the staff to work on the more current claims. This is a large anesthesia group that submitted $628,000 to the system and recovered $313,000 on claims that were over 110 days old. And the cost based on the $12.50 fee was 1.3%. So when you consider that administrative cost and the whole time and the effort that it's taking your staff and the frustration of them having the phone on their shoulder while they're trying to do other things, waiting on somebody at the insurance payer office to get back to them, this is the solution to that problem. The norm has been to just continually doing that over and over and over. There's never been a system like this in the medical market that assists medical providers, hospitals, surgery centers, and dental practices get these insurance claims paid or resolved faster until now. So let's look at the results of this major hospital in Arizona that is paying $6.26 per account. They submitted 12,845 claims, averaging $7,200 per claim. And these were five-month-old claims. So their central billing office beat these claims to death before they put them into the system. Out of $93.6 million, they were able to recover $62 million. $20 million of that was cash in the door. And of the $41 million suspended, they got a lot of cash in the door off that as well. And that's called resolution. So 58% of the money responded or paid or resolved. And 77.8% of the accounts responded and did something. That's amazing. Based on the $6.26 fee per account, their cost is less than a percent. So you talk about chopping down a tree with a chainsaw instead of a hammer. Whew, this is an amazing system. This hospital CFO spent $85,000 to get $62 million resolved. And I think that's why they tested it with a very small system, reordered 5,000 accounts, reordered 5,000 accounts, reordered 5,000 accounts. And on the last order, they renewed 15,000 accounts. So when you think about that purchase history, this does not show the whole picture, but um, you know, up until these 12,845 claims, these were the results. They actually have a lot more that came in as well. That's an ROI of $739 to one on past due claims that were five months old. So if you'd like more information on this service, or if you're already using us for self-pay balances with Profit Recovery and Accelerator, contact the agent that sent you this video for more information. Have a great day.